Hello YouTube, this is Alan Jeremy and welcome to yet another tutorial. In this tutorial I will be giving you an introduction to computer programming and I'm going to explain what computer programming is, why it's useful, where it is used and why you should learn it and why it's awesome. So what is computer programming? Computer programming is the process of creating computer programs and what are these computer programs a program is a set of instructions that tell a computer what to do a program is created using a programming language a programming language is a language that can be used to communicate with a computer Therefore, a programming language is the equivalent of a language such as English when it comes to communication with computers. There are several programming languages in existence today, and I will list the most common ones. Okay, so those are the things you should know about computer programming. And if you really want to become a programmer, which is a person who writes computer programs, then you actually have to learn a computer programming language. And Learning a computer programming language is going to be the first step in your journey as a computer programmer. Okay, so why is computer programming useful? Computer programming is used in almost every aspect of our lives today. Uh, from the games that you play to the animations that you watch and the movies and almost everything requires some form of computer programming to operate normally. For example, let's take a movie. When a movie is created, there is a video editor. The video editor uses software, which is another term for a computer program. And I know that's quite a vague way to put it, but uh, the video editing software is actually created by computer programmers. Okay, when it comes to animation, the animation software used to create the animations uh, is a creation of computer programmers. When it comes to robots, the robots are programmed by computer programmers. Okay, so that's enough of babbling about where it is used, but just know that computer programming is important and useful. Okay, so the programming languages that are available, first of all, Python. Python can be used for animations and game programming. It can also be used for general purpose programming. And most programmers prefer Python to other languages because of its simple syntax and ease of understanding. Next up is Java. Java is the most common programming language and it is a general purpose programming language and this means that it can be used for just about anything uh, I would not recommend Java for beginners because it is object oriented and rather confusing for beginners to start with C is another language and it is a low level structural programming language structural programming languages are languages that uh, not object oriented and I will explain that later on uh, next is C++ which is a high level language which also has some low level language features and it is also object oriented C++ has a variety of uses and Windows has been created actually using C++ but as a beginner, I will recommend you to start with a different language such as Python or C Sharp, which I will come to next. C Sharp is a high level object oriented programming language, but it has a simple syntax and is a good language to begin with. Ruby is another language and it's a high level language which is used for web applications. HTML is a web development and design language which uh, is actually an acronym for Hypertext Markup Language. CSS is a web design and styling language which can also be used in the development of sites uh, along with HTML. 
JavaScript is mainly for web development and it is used to create dynamic sites, which I will explain later on. It is also used for general programming and game development and many others. There are many other programming languages which I have not listed, but they are also useful in their own ways. So right now I would like to advise you on which programming language to begin with. Uh, you can begin with Python because of its simple syntax, but I would recommend beginning with a language such as HTML or CSS because they are actually the simplest languages that do not require too much logic. Okay, so low-level languages and high-level programming languages. I have actually mentioned this in the previous slide a lot and I would just like to expound on what a low-level language is and what a high-level language is. A low-level language is a language that is closer to machine language. Now I know you're all going to start complaining about how confusing this tutorial is for beginners, but before you do, I would like to explain this. So for a computer program to actually run, the language that it is written in has to be converted to machine language. Machine language is a set of binary digits which represent certain instructions to a computer. I will explain that more a little bit later, but it is important to know that for a computer program to run, it is actually converted from the programming language code, which is known as the source code, to the object code, which is actually the binary for the code. The binary is actually machine language which can be understood by the computer to perform certain tasks. So low-level languages are closer to machine languages. The machine language, I mean. Now why would someone want to use such a language? Because low-level languages are closer to machine language, it means that they are processed faster because it is easier to interpret them into machine language. High-level languages on the other side are closer to human languages such as English, but they are compiled a little bit slower. But these factors are not very notable when you're doing small applications because they will be computed very fast due to the high processing speeds of computers nowadays. So most of the tutorials that will come after this will actually be dealing with high-level languages because they are easier to write as well as perform complex operations with. So we're going to be covering Python and C Sharp probably, as well as HTML and CSS and maybe JavaScript and C++, but we are not going to be covering Java for now because uh, I'm trying to keep things simple here. Okay, so how do you start? You can actually start by visiting one of the following sites. You can go to codeacademy.org and you will get interactive programming lessons from there. Um, you can also go to code.org where you can also learn the basics of programming. Alternatively, you can also go to edx.org which I believe has some Harvard courses as well as Stanford courses and other prominent universities. Uh, you can also go to w3schools.com if you like reading because they have very good tutorials and most of them are written, not interactive, but uh, it is also a good place to get resources to study. You can also go to freecomputerbooks.com if you love reading, and you can get free computer programming books from this site. There are many more of such sites which I have not mentioned, or some of them I am not aware of. So if you know any other ones, feel free to post them in the comments below. Okay, so that's the end of this first video and I would actually just like to say that thank you for watching and I hope you're more familiar with computer programming and what it is and basically right now you're more interested in actually 
programming and so in the next video uh, we'll be covering computer programming jargon and that just means the language and terms that are used in computer programming so in this first three videos I will be actually just explaining the general overview of what computer programming is so if you do want to just begin programming immediately without knowing the basics or if you already know the general stuff about programming then you can skip the first three videos and go directly to the third video which is going to be i think a python video on how to start programming okay so thanks for watching once again this is alan jeremy please comment like share and subscribe and i'll be posting more videos soon so thank you and goodbye